Well, it's certainly been a very difficult situation and the most difficult in the 22 years that I've been honored to represent the state of Maine in the United States Senate. One of our original Dunn Queens from the mean streets of North Adams, please welcome the third member of our band, the OG Governor Jane Swift. Yes, I have, and I hope you heard what his defense was. I've been nice to some women. <laughs> that just doesn't cut it. People are in a race to take the, the most extreme position that they can. And it's a race to the bottom in which the American people and their needs and their voices are being kept at. Well, Andy, first, thanks for, for having me. And uh, we have to stop meeting like this after you tee it up like that. You know, the challenge that we have is that yesterday's meeting was really disappointing. I'm sure Cass would have advice, too, and there are a lot of young people here. I, I think the main thing is that I say is to all young people is just know something about something. I think there's a tendency now to go so broad to be reading tweets instead of books. Tweets are good. Tweets are fine. Hello, I'm Maggie Hassan, Governor of New Hampshire. Here's my question. In 1985, NASA selected what high school teacher from Concord, New Hampshire, as the first American teacher to go into space? I have the background and experience, but most importantly, I have the fire in the belly uh, for New Hampshire. And, you know, it's not about me. I don't have any other aspirations. It's really about the people of New Hampshire and making sure that New Hampshire remains safe, prosperous, and free. And I've honored my Irish heritage with many of you, starting with uh, our great host here today, Mark Schroeder and his wife, Kate, who have done an extraordinary job keeping the flame alive all these years with this event. <laughs> Mary Hedigan, Megan Corbett, and so many others. By coming here today, we are sending a powerful message. We will not let anything or anyone divide us. We will not cede control of our country to corruption, greed, and the powerful interests. We're the ocean state. We have 400 miles of coastline and tens of thousands of acres of green space and beautiful forests. And at that moment, I felt like, how are we gonna make this work? From a wave to a conversation to a borrowed lawnmower, things changed and the sign came down. 